Hello people of the internet! Today we're going to be doing another Julie vs. The Abstract Concept Cooking. Justin, on behalf of uh, The Abstract Concept Cooking, has requested cinnamon cookies, oh, snickerdoodles. I've never made snickerdoodles, but uh, we're, that's what happens on this show. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's go do that, alright. But first, we're going to need the ingredients. All right, first we're gonna need salt, vanilla, cinnamon of course, two sticks of butter, baking soda, flour, light brown sugar, regular sugar, and cream of tartar. I'd never used cream of tartar before, I had to go on a whole quest, but it was, uh, spoiler alert, in the spice aisle. All right, that's all for the ingredients. <laughs> all right, ah, wait, okay, so while I was setting up for the next step, I realized I'd forgotten an ingredient, which was two eggs. Technically, the recipe says one egg plus one yolk. So two, two eggs, I guess. All right, on to the next step. All right, next step is we're going to mix the butter with all the sugar in the mixer. I don't know about you, but I like to cut the butter into slices before I put it in the mixer because it makes the mixing go faster. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. You know, I think I should maybe plug the mixer in. I think that'll be more effective. Hold on. Alrighty, so... One egg... in there. And we're gonna have to separate this one. Ah, okay. Ugh. Don't worry everyone, it's just really gross and slimy. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This is a big yolk. It's breaking! Oh! Oh crap. <laughs> and one yolk. Oh, awesome. That one exactly is planned. I don't know if you were wondering, but Hooray! All right, I'll be, I'm gonna go wash my hands. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add the eggs. Let's see, how do I... There we go. Ugh! And mix that in. Next, we're gonna add basically every other ingredient, except the flour. The flour is for later. All right, so that's one teaspoon of vanilla. I like to do it over the bowl so that I don't spill on the counter. All right, boop. Next is one teaspoon of baking soda. Boom. One teaspoon of cinnamon. Oof. Sorry, I got got some up my nose. Half a teaspoon of salt. And last, one teaspoon of whatever the heck cream of tartar is. Doesn't seem very creamy. I think it's supposed to do something with the eggs. All right, and we're just gonna mix all that in. Next, we're supposed to put in two and three quarters cups of flour. This was the only receptacle I had that was big enough, so uh, we're gonna do that. Uh, you don't have to use a mug if you don't want to. You can just use whatever receptacle you have. All right, let's put it in the the dough. Is it batter or dough? Fat. We're gonna put it in that now. Next we're gonna make the cinnamon sugary coating, cause I don't know if you've ever had snickerdoodles, but quite famously, they have a sugary cinnamon coating. So we're gonna, we're gonna make that. So that's a quarter cup of granulated sugar. And one, and one tablespoon of cinnamon. So there we go. I'm gonna mix this now so that it's more even and less in my um, airway. <coughs> All 
All right, next we have to take the dough and turn it into little balls and then roll it into the cinnamon. I'm crouching because I don't want to reset the tripod. That's just, it's annoying you guys, all right? We can deal with me crouching, it's fine. All right, so we're, I'm, I'm gonna do that now. Here we go. So, I have put all of the snickerdoodles on the tray and I've preheated the oven to uh, 325 degrees. And uh, whoop. now we have to cook it for exactly 11 minutes. I was reading the recipe. It was one of those recipes, you know the recipe things where you're like, oh, I just want to make snickerdoodles. And then someone writes a recipe, but it starts with, after my husband and I's divorce, I, meow, 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 whatever, no one pays attention to that. Yeah, so I was reading one of those, and the lady was like, I bake it for exactly 11 minutes. But I know that other ovens are not the same. So, eh. So that was very helpful. So I'm gonna go with exactly 11 minutes and see what happens. So let's do that. All right, it's been exactly 11 minutes. I think the cookies look all right, but uh, I'm gonna like poke them with a fork and stuff. So uh, I'll let you know how it goes. So I went ahead and poked one with a fork and uh, hold on, let me just show you, let me show you what happened. It has totally caved in. So I think I'm gonna cook these for a little longer. All right, so I cooked the cookies for another like nine minutes, not all at once, like four minutes, and I did another four minutes, anyway. Uh, but they really seem to be done now. They're still kind of squishy. This might just be a squishy cookie, but uh, they kind of shot past golden brown straight to, to brown. So uh, we're just gonna let those cool until Justin comes home. And I can assure you, I will not sample any of the cookies while we're waiting for Justin to come home. So, I guess I'll see you in a couple hours when Justin comes home. Hi, the internet. Hi, Justin. Hi, Julia, also. Uh, we've done this before. We have. It's been done. So, uh... I think we nailed it the first time, never need to do it again. Well, we did it about seven times now. But let's go ahead and do it one more time. So, you as the emissary for the abstract concept of cooking asked for snickerdoodles, so I made... Something. A cookie. <laughs> I'm not sure if they are counting as snickerdoodles because I overcooked them a bit. Well, lucky for you, I have forgotten what snickerdoodles taste like since then. Oh, <laughs> great. Mm. Well... Uh, it's a cinnamon cookie. It's pretty good, I have to say. Six out of ten. But snickerdoodles are usually fluffier. I think I overcooked them because I was worried about them being raw because I kept poking them and they would deflate. Six out of ten? That's pretty good. I mean, it's slightly above average. All right. So, you heard it here first, folks. Six well, out of ten. Slightly above average. That's all I ever wanted to be. Bye, the internet. Bye.